Okay, now we can look into the expansion of perfect gas into vacuum. Consider one gram molecule of gas rushed into an evacuated vessel. During this process, the volume changing from V1 to V2. Consider uh, also consider this process as an isothermal process. That means the temperature is constant during the process. If ds is the change in the entropy, therefore ds equal to dq by t. Into v. We already know that dq equal to du plus uh, dw. dw is pdv. During the isothermal process, we can write dq is equal to pdv. So pdv by t. Then pv, we know that pv equal to rt. Then p by t, we can write as r by v dv. Okay. Then PD where PDV is the work done by the gas against the pressure P during the small increase of volume dV. Therefore, change in entropy of the gas for the whole expansion V1 to V2 is S2 minus S1 equal to integral V1 to V2 R dV by V equal to R log V2 by V1. Here R is a positive quantity and uh, we know that V2 is greater than V1. Therefore, S2 minus S1 must also be positive. That entropy change is also positive. Thus, the entropy of the gas increases. Then, when a body at temperature uh, Th placed in a contact with the cold reservoir at Tc, then heat uh, flow from hot body to the cold body. Then the cooling of the body is spontaneous. This is an irreversible process because the transferring heat from the sink to the source need we have to do work on the system. In this process, entropy is lost by the body and the entropy is gained by the reservoir. The entropy lost by the body is, is given by Cv log Th by Tc and then the entropy gained by the reservoir is given by Cv into Th minus Tc by Tc. This gives that the surrounding <coughs> surroundings uh, gain energy. Therefore, we can say that the entropy of the universe is also increases. Then, in the case of isothermal process, T is constant, therefore entropy is equal to dq by T, T is constant, the dq is there. So, in isothermal process, we can say that entropy uh, change is occurring. That means there is a changing entropy in the case of isothermal process. But in the case of adiabatic process, no heat enters or leaves. Uh, from the system. No heat enters into the system or leaves from the system. Therefore, dq is equal to zero. Since no change in entropy occurs in adiabatic process. Therefore, we can say that there is no change in entropy occurs in adiabatic process. Therefore, it is also named as isentropy. Yeah, thank you.